Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about product rule of counting. We have received many requests to explain this topic in detail. We have taken 10 different types of questions to explain the theory behind this topic. Let's have a look. Question number one. Mike can choose from three starters, six main dishes, four puddings. How many different meals can Mike choose from? So there are three starters, so there are three ways of choosing the starters. So there are three starters multiplied by six main dishes. So he have option of choosing six type of main dishes multiplied by and four puddings times by four types of pudding. So if you multiply everything together, so three times four, 12 times six, 72 different ways so 72 different ways he can choose the meal from that is the question number one straightforward question you multiply together to get the different ways question number two jack is in a restaurant there are five starters eight main courses and some desserts on the menu so there's no desserts given the number of desserts is not given jack is going to choose one starter one main course and uh, one dessert he says there are 240 ways that he can choose his starter his main and his dessert could Jack be correct? So yes, Jack is correct. The reason why he is correct, because if you multiply the number of starters and number of main dish, five times eight, that gives 40 options, right? If you divide the Jack's prediction or Jack's answer 240 divide by 40, that gives a clear answer, an uh, integer answer, six ways. So six desserts may be in the restaurant right maybe we don't know the exact number but it is a possible way if there is a six option for desserts you can multiply six times five times eight gives the 240 so six desert is possible answer right so we are going to be conclude this answer as a yes jack is correct because it is divisible when you dividing if it is a decimal or um, fractional answer right you can conclude that mean no jack is incorrect because uh, there's no integer value so there's number of times uh, starters main course and desserts has to be a, a whole number and jack's prediction is not tallying with that so you need to be based on that one reasoning out so we are going to be talking about the different types of third question there are eight boys and five girls in a class one boy and one girl are going to be selected from the team leaders for the team leaders of the chess club so they are forming a chess club team leaders team so out of eight boys they are choosing only one boy and there are five girls in the school or in the class and uh, they are choosing only one girl and one boy they are choosing as a pair right so how many different pairs could be chosen right so this is you are choosing from uh, boys and girls not in from the same group right so boys is a different entity girls is a different different entity the entity means a different type of group right so out of eight boys you can choose one boy there are eight ways you can choose from you can choose the boy one boy two boy three up to boy eight there are eight possible way multiply by there are five different ways you can choose the girls from so eight times five there are 40 ways you can choose from right now look at the question number four i have prepared this question purposely to explain the difference between when you want to divide and when you don't want to divide question number four there are three chess players in a room two players are selected at random to play for a competition how many different possible matches could take place right so what they're talking about three chess players assume a b and c right assume a b and c are the chess players so two players selected so assume a is going to be played with b a is going to be played with c so i have chosen the first letter as a now if you select the b as a first player b is going to play with a b is going to be played with c right that is the second sets if i select the c as a first player c is going to be played with a then c is going to be played with b so that is the third type right all together if you see the total number of ways is six ways right how i'm going to uh, without writing this one how can i understand that so three chess players i'm choosing one player first so that means three different option multiply after selecting one player you left over with two players so how many chances of choosing a two um, players is two ways so three times two is six ways right and now six ways is exactly matching with our 
uh, outcomes however this is where you need to understand if you closely look at the outcomes a and b it's exactly same as b and a so a playing with b b playing with a are duplicates right they are duplicates it's not possible so they are asking specifically different possible matches a with b b with a considered as one so there are three duplicates if you can see a with c is duplicate with c with a and b with c is duplicate with c with a so two players are selected means so you need to divide by two so actual answer is three ways three different ways is the answer now the question is why two right in maths the combinations are uh, indicated by factorial notation right so factorial what is factorial factorial is let's say two factorial the sign is two factorial means two times one two times one it's two right so you need to be multiply two factorial means two times one if it is five factorial means five four five times four times three times two times one right so we will do a couple of questions to understand this better so there are three chess players in a room so two players are selected at random means two players can be duplicate so you need to divide this question by two right so two factorial means two times one is two and that is the answer six total ways uh, divide by two is three ways so this is the answer for the question number four question number five there are five chess players in a group two players are going to be selected at random to play a match against each other how many different possible matches could take place first of all you need to understand you need to select two players so you need to draw two dashes right so the two dashes options are going to be multiplied together so first of all first player is going to be chosen from five ways after choosing the first player you have one player down so four chances of choosing the second player so five times four is 20 ways so 20 ways you can choose two players from uh, five however in earlier question we understand the duplicates so two players are selected from the same group that means there are two factorial two factorial means two times one which is two so you need to divide the 20 ways divide by two so the correct answer for this question how many different possible matches is 10 ways is the correct answer question number six there are five hockey players in a group three players are selected at random to play a play for a competition three players so you need to put three dashes and multiply because of the product rule first player is going to be selected from five and after that second player is going to be selected from four options and the third player is going to be selected from three options so five times four is 20 times three is 60 ways now there may be a duplicates how to find out the duplicates it's a three player system three player system mean three factorial three factorial means three times two times one so which is six so you need to divide by 60 ways divide by six the possible answer different ways are 10 different ways that is the answer for the question number six let's look at some more question question number seven there are 10 chess players in a room each player shakes other person's hand once how many handshakes will take place so two players can be handshake so one pair of handshake means two players so first players chosen from 10 chances times by if you take one off so nine so 10 times nine is 90 ways right there may be duplicates happen so you got to divide by two factorial which is two times one which is two so 90 ways and uh, divide by two which is 45 ways uh, handshakes can happen question number eight Tom has six shirts and three jeans how many different combinations of shirt and jeans uh, could Tom choose right so he need to select for shirt he need to select for the jeans so there are six options of the shirts and there are no reductions so three jeans as it is right so there are 18 combinations right 18 ways he can choose the uh, jeans and uh, shirt from here you don't need to divide because it doesn't matter he wear the jeans first then the shirt secondly it doesn't matter so whichever the way he wearing the shirt and jeans end of the day he wear she a shirt and jeans as a one pair so here there is no need for dividing the number by two factorial so 18 ways is the answer for the question number eight question number nine sally has four cards how many numbers smaller than three thousand can she make 3000 less than 3000 means he need to select four digit number so four digit number means in between they are going to be product the number of ways the first digit has to be have some restriction what is restriction less than 3000 less than 3000 mean it can be one it can be two it can't be three or four so only two possible options so two ways after you select 
one of the number from one or two, you have left with one number and the remaining three and four numbers all together, three options. So three options there. After you select the second number, you left with two options. Then after you fill the third number, you left with one option, right? So all together, if you multiply two times three, six times two, 12 ways, uh, you have options. Now, question number 10, there are 17 men and 26 women in a choir. The choir is going to sing at a concert. One of the men and one of the women are going to select it uh, to uh, sing the first song. So the pair is going to be singing the first song. Work out the number of different pairs that can be chosen. Right here, very important question. You are selecting one men, one man from a 17 men group, right? So from 17, you are choosing one of them, right? So there are 17 charts times 26 women. So there's option of 26, right? So both of these items are selected from different groups. So you don't need to divide by. So the answer is 442 ways, right? 442 ways or 442 pairs you can choose from. So this is one boy and one girl right 442 ways but the next question is a little bit trickier we have made a small error in a previous video uh, apologize for that one so that is the whole um, explanation we trying to produce a video with all the different types to explain this one a little bit better so two of the men so this is two of the men means only in the men's category not with the women only in one group mean this division will take place two of the men are chosen to make a pair to sing the second song ben thinks there are different pairs of 136 and mark think there are 272 so right now what we studied actually we are choosing two men so that means two gaps with a multiplication symbol and uh, you i have to choose a men from 17 men so 17 options and after that second men going to be chosen from the remaining 16 men so if you times this one is going to be 272 pairs different pairs right however there may be duplicates there may be duplicates because of two men so you need to divide by two factorials which is two times one is two so the answer 272 divided by two it's going to be 136 pairs 136 pairs is the correct answer therefore you need to say ben is correct ben is correct so because you need to divide by two because it's from one category one men group there may be duplicates you need to divide so ben is correct the correct answer to avoid the duplicates you need to divide by two to get the 136 as an answer that is our end of the tutorial hope you understand the product rule of counting topic and hope you um, do well in the exam tomorrow wish you all the best and see you later bye now